do you get a college scholarship for playing soccer? Well, you need to start by being good enough. So are you actually developing yourself to the point where a college coach would want you on their team? So in order to do that, look at yourself, look at your weaknesses, look at your strengths, create a plan to improve every area of your game. College soccer is a very physical sport, especially in Canada and the United States. It's very physical. You'll find a big jump in the physicality, not so much the technical skill. Okay? It's a much more fast-paced game, a much harder hitting game, physical game, much more demanding on your body. So you've got to be quick. You have to be fit. You have to be strong. So definitely work on those areas of the game. And obviously always working to improve your technique, and your tactical understanding, your decision making, of course. So always continually improving yourself. I say this in every video, but it's so important. Never stop improving. Am I good enough? Yes, no, you're wrong. Stop that mentality. Yes, I'm a good player, but I need to keep growing, keep getting better, and that's what's gonna make me a great player. Okay, so once you're good enough, let's say you're in high school, you're getting to that college level where you need to start uh, looking at different opportunities where you could play. Well, a lot of colleges, if you look on their websites, they will have open tryouts, so you need to go. Some colleges do scout in the local areas and they will offer uh, players to come out to the training preseason training camps or preseason trials okay but I don't want you to wait or expect someone to come for you I want you to go out and get it so you can contact schools you can ask them about their open trials if you just make a list of all the universities near you or universities where you would like to go I think it's a great experience if you can get out of your hometown and go live and go take care of yourself and go be part of a team it's a great experience Take care of your school and take care of, your, care of yourself. Okay? Grow up, be a man, be a woman, and take care of yourself. And you're not going to get that same experience if you're living at home with your parents. Now, I don't want your parents to get upset because I'm telling you to run away, but it's just a great experience and it will make you into a better person. Okay, so make a list of all the possible universities or colleges you would like to go to. Then go to their websites and search for the head of the soccer team or the manager of the soccer team and send them a message or look on their website for information about tryouts. They'll usually have it listed, but if you send an email maybe to more than one person, maybe to the head, head coach, assistant coach, manager, uh, scouting, on their website they will have a list of all the staff members. You need to contact them and get the information that you need so you can show up. But the biggest thing I'm getting at here is don't wait. Don't expect someone to come to your game and offer you a contract to get to get a scholarship for a college or university. It's not going to happen like that. You need to make the contacts. You need to find the information. And you need to show up on training day or trial day or training camp. And you need to rock it. Okay? But my biggest piece of advice for you is decide where you want to go and then make it happen. Get the information you need. Get in touch with the right people. Show up when you have to and just rock it, okay? Take care of your future, take care of your life. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll talk to you soon.